A man built a secret trapdoor in his home, with stairs leading to a hidden underground chamber. For some people, there are few things more satisfying than working on their house. Whether it be through redecorating or restructuring the layout of a room, changes like that can help personalize your home. Engas, known as Note Dekov Cards on Imgur, is one such person. Living at home with his wife, the couple found a hidden room beneath the house that they dubbed the dungeon. There was only one entrance to the space, located outside the property. As time went on, though, Gaz decided to make some big changes to the room. His first step was to clean up the area outside the house that led to the dungeon. After that he then focused on the interior, building a number of cupboards along the wall to store everything. So with the dungeon's floor space now clear, Gaz could move to the next stage of his plan. Noting the sole entrance to the room, he wanted some easier access inside the house itself. One of the many joys of the internet is being able to connect with like-minded people on topics that you love. Regardless of how niche your interests are, you can always find someone that shares that same passion. Reddit is an excellent source on that front, as the website hosts a huge number of subreddits covering different subjects. Giz was one of the many online users to take advantage of that, visiting the DIY subreddit. A self-confessed amateur when it comes to home improvement, he looked to share his story about the dungeon on the website. Launched back in 2009, Imgur is a unique website that allows users to share a wide variety of pictures. From memes to normal photographs, the site became incredibly popular over the next few years. On that note, Giz created a photo album on the website, posting under the name Note Dekov Cards. He subsequently shared over 50 images at that point with each one showing the early progress of the dungeon's reconstruction. Indeed, Guz began his story by posting a photograph of the room before the project got underway. The DI year wrote on Imgur in April 2016, so here's where we started. A room under our house which we called the dungeon. Full of junk left over after moving in. At that point, Guz revealed that the dungeon had a noticeable safety hazard. He continued, we left it like this for nearly a year while deciding what to do with the room. The steel support beams are about 1.8 meters off the ground, but everywhere else is perfectly fine to walk around in without hitting your head. After setting the scene, Guz then spoke about the goal he wanted to reach at the end of the revamp. The Imgur user wrote, we eventually decided to turn the dungeon into a home theater. Giz added, it wasn't anywhere near finished. We have put a lot of work into it since then, so please enjoy the rest of the album to see the real finished product. From there, he then shared his progress step by step, starting with the outside entry into the dungeon. Prior to the start of the project, the only way that Giz could access the dungeon was via a green door in his garden. The yard was on a downward slope, with the house near the top of the hilly area. Meanwhile, Guz's yard was also surrounded by a wooden fence, with the partition cutting off at the back of the property. To kick things off, the DIYer worked on the elevated pathway, which was made up of old wooden panels and bricks. Guz then lay down new bricks in their place, alongside some sturdy-looking wooden paneling at the side. At that stage, the Imgur user decided to fill the gaps on either side of the brick path with decorative gravel. With the entrance to the dungeon sorted, Giz enlisted the help of his father to move the fence. Together, they were able to reposition the partition so it was closer to the old green door, creating more space outside the back of the house. After restructuring the fence, Giz painted both that and the green door white. And to finish things off outside, the grassy area on the slope was covered in decorative gravel, which matched the updated pathway. At that point, Guz focused his attention on the dungeon itself, which was still filled to the brim with what he described as junk. Following some spring cleaning, though, the room was finally cleared. 
Guz then proceeded to spruce up the overhead steel crossbeams with a fresh coat of paint, before moving the dungeon's heating duct. With the ladder now out of the way, the DIR looked to take out the metal shelving surrounding one of the walls. From there, Guz filled the newly created gaps with some cupboards, which were eventually painted dark grey. He explained on Imgur, I did this to improve the cinematic experience. In addition to that, the online user left a small area open on that wall, using it as a bar. At that stage, the home cinema really started to come together, with Guz putting in a new seating area around the old brick bench. After that, he created a box-like structure for the projector, before installing a set of LED lights in the room. To give off the desired effect when watching a film, Guz then added some curtains around the edge of the dungeon. Once that was done, he focused his attention on the floor, covering it with large rubber slabs. With the screen now in place, one final task remained for Guz. In the entrance to the home cinema, he looked to fit two beige curtains above the doorway, completing the transformation. Meanwhile, in January 2017 Guz returned to Imgur with another photo album. While the dungeon was now a fully functioning cinema, he had a small issue with it. Despite all the changes that were made to the room, there was still only one way to get in via the outside door. So on that note, Guz laid out the plan for his next project. He wrote on Imgur, so you may remember the dungeon I have under my house which I turned into a cinema, but the problem was there was only access from outside. But for cold days or when you're just in your pajamas, I thought it would be nice to be able to access the cinema internally," Guz continued. As a kid, I always thought how cool it would be to have a secret tunnel or passageway in your house. Guz then added, after my wife agreed that I could cut a hole in the floor, of course. At that point, the DIR pressed ahead with his plan, choosing the best place to create the secret entrance. After Guz made his decision, he prepared to work on the section of the living room floor directly above it. He said of the corner upstairs, it used to have a chair and was a nice place to sit. So I wanted to incorporate a sitting area into the solution, which would double out as a great secret entrance. I did consider both a trap door and bookcase, but felt a seat was best, Guz added. He continued, I liked the idea of a bench seat with storage, but in this case instead of storage, a secret staircase. With the bench now in place, Guz faced one of the biggest challenges of the project. He wrote on Imgur, I had a few different avenues of carpenters I was going to get to come cut the hole. Guz added, so after calling my dad and talking to some guys at Mitre 10, I felt confident enough to do it myself. In this photo, I'm getting a feel for where the additional supports would go to frame the edge of the hole. At that stage, Guz then put some new brackets in around the hole, to help support the upstairs floor. After putting the finishing touches on that, he switched his focus toward the ladder, which he'd be putting together himself. Guz's work on the ladder eventually came to an end, securing all of the steps with a number of heavy-duty screws. On that note, he hosed down his creation before taking it back into the house. However, when Guz shared the finished results of the entrance, he also relayed some feedback that he'd received. The user wrote on Imgur, you would open the secret door and, apparently reveal a giant hole slash death trap, according to Reddit. I fully admit to being an amateur, hence posting to r slash DIY, Guz continued. And it was pointed out that the type of wood used to make the sides, melamine, and holding it together with screws wasn't a great solution. Despite the negativity, though, he was offered a potential answer to the problem. Guz added, it was suggested to build an internal frame, which would be the structural component of the seat. And the melamine would then become just a decorative skin. The other complaint was that if the lid broke on the seat, the person sitting on it would fall straight down the hole, Guz wrote on Imgur. He continued, 
While the chances of the lid breaking in such a way to allow it to do that were highly unlikely in my opinion, I recognized people's concerns. With that in mind, Guz then revealed his solution. I decided to bring back the cutout floorboards to make a trapdoor for the extra layer of safety, he said. From there, the Imgur user shared some photos of the entrance inside the cinema, with the ladder perched away from the big screen on the left-hand side. At the end of the album, Guz had some final words regarding his two big projects. After all of the work that he put into them, he highlighted one of his favorite features. This photo was taken in the middle of a day that was 35 plus outside, yet down here it stays in the low 20s, Guz concluded. Closing the lid blocks out all the light from upstairs, and you can enjoy a full cinema experience without leaving the house. Very, very happy with how it turned out.